Hi guys. Um, today is our week off. We are off this week and it just so happens that Brian is actually off as well. So it's really nice that we get to spend some good quality time together. If you are new to my channel and you might not know that we um, school year round and the way that we divide up our time, we basically get one week off every month. I don't, I have not been taking my one week off every month, but somehow it always seems to make up for it um, a little bit later on, especially around the holiday time. Um, so I'm trying to do better about that, actually taking the week off. And when we have the week off, we're not necessarily not doing anything. We just kind of abandon our schedule. So that's been working out really well for me. Um, I just know that during that week I get to relax a little bit and just kind of take a very relaxed approach as if my homeschool life is not already really relaxed. <laughs> But anyway, um, this time around during our week off, because it is our book year, the only thing that we're really making sure that we do is read. Um, so we still keep up with the read aloud time and the quiet reading time. But as far as everything else, sometimes we may um, do a little bit of work in our workbooks or I don't know. Sometimes we may pick some things up, do some unit study work or some other things, but nothing is scheduled Here it is. you found it I need it I need it I need it okay anyway um so what was I saying what was I saying what was I saying yes it's our week off and my husband also has off this week which is really nice because we get to spend some nice quality time together um the first few days of the week we have been going out running a bunch of errands we need to get the kids um some more clothes now that the fall is here here like here here <laughs> just cleaning up doing some fall cleaning you know purging things and all that other stuff i have some clean with me videos that are coming up which i'm really excited about because <laughs> i don't know they were fun and i was trying to do something different and take advantage of the fact that i already had to clean so i might as well make a video and put it up on the channel as well i thought that today i could just do a little homeschool haul yes a homeschool haul i have quite a bit of things and i must admit that i feel a little bit guilty about the amount of things that i purchased <laughs> this year just because i don't typically i don't spend a lot of time purchasing things all at once um so it feels like it's been all at once but it kind of hasn't been this has kind of been things that i've gathered over the summer and i got really really good deals on a lot of this stuff so i don't feel as bad but i just wanted to show you some of the things that i got to replace a lot of the things that i purged when we cleaned out the homeschool room to get ready for the year so uh, I needed it for what the world w was called, but I don't need it anymore. It's called a mirage. A mirage? That's what the world is called? No, it's not what the world is called. I said word, not world. Okay. <laughs> they, Justin were, was in the desert, and and, and they saw an oasis. The, and they saw an oasis that was a mirage, and it and it kept disappearing. Okay. All right. And they found out it was a mirage. All right, thanks, bud. So you guys, these are all the stacks of books that I have to show you for my book year video. I'm really excited about it and to lay them all out and to show you how much I paid for them. So yeah, <laughs> way too excited about our book year, but it'll be fun. That video is coming soon. It's coming soon, but right now I'm going to show you this little stack here. This is my little homeschool haul, and I'm just going to show you what I got. Yeah, so please keep in mind I am still the same old Serena who cares very much so about her budget. <laughs> okay, it's just that, um, and I'll talk about this maybe in another budgeting video, but um, I do save up monies in a separate account for our homeschool life, and it just so happens that I have been saving 
and I knew that I was going to be purchasing quite a bit. I'm setting this disclaimer because I think it's important. Um, I'm not a fan of buying all the things and believing that it will change your homeschool. I did that for a couple of years and it didn't. Um, so I never want to portray that, you know, when you buy all the things that it will change your whole homeschool life. It doesn't. Um, you can homeschool with basically nothing. Um, and I, I do consider myself quite minimalist in that I pay very close attention to the purchases that I make and how I can use them. Um, but I am feeling slightly guilty because some of these things, yeah, some of these <laughs> things I was just excited about or they were really, really great prices. Um, this year I splurged and I'll talk more about that in my book year video, but I definitely splurged on books this year because it was our book year. Um, but I have a plan for that and I'll, and I'll share more about that a little bit later. Um, so yeah, I'm not used to spending monies on books, but it's been very exciting and I think it's going to be very rewarding. In the meantime, um, quite a bit of these things that I'm going to show you now are actually books, but they're not stories. So I'm including everything that is a book, but not a story. So like activity books and things like that, I will show you now what I got. Today I am wearing my Weekends Are For Adventures tee. I love this t-shirt. This is not actually mine. This is from a company called Serengeti. Get it? Serengeti. And it's like a travel um, adventure brand. And I love this shirt. I got it for Christmas last year. Okay, so the very first thing I got is the Investigator's Holy Bible. Um, I got this from Ollie's. And you guys know that I love Ollie's. They just have the best prices. And I always check out their um, Bible section to see if I can find any new version of the Bible that would be great for the kids to add to their collection. We have the Veggie Tales Bible and then we also have the Action Bible. And I've been on a hunt to find a girl's Bible that's appropriate for my lady baby, but I saw this one. Um, the NIV Investigators Holy Bible, and I figured this would be good. So, let me show you a little bit of the inside. There are just cute little illustrations and then and little notes that will outline different things. So, this one here is about unleavened bread, and then they will set the scene here just in an investigator type style. So, I thought that was really, really cute. They'll have little sections about checking the facts, who was Jeremiah, which I love this part. And then the answer is upside down here. There's another breakthrough section. And there's another section about setting the scene. So I'm really happy with this one so far. And I'm excited for him to start getting into it. And comparing it with his VeggieTales Bible and the Action um, Bible. There's another Bible that I found that I'm really looking into getting. And it's, it's the Action Bible for teens. But it couples obviously the Bible, but with actionable steps um, for giving back to the community and things like that. I'm also looking into that one, but this one was a nice addition to our collection. The next thing I got, a game called Silly Street. I picked this up from Walmart, actually, and it was a little bit pricier than I'd like to spend for a game. I don't typically get games, you guys. I have... Um, card games we use card games but we don't really have board games and I really want to do a better job getting some of those into the mix to kind of get us away from our tablets we love our tablets so much but um, I don't want them to be on them all the time even if they are playing educational games so I wanted to have some things that we could do together and I thought that this game was so cute so it's a character building game called silly street and it has a set of cards and Oh, the, the, first of all, this game is made so well. The actual board is a puzzle. I think there's four wooden circled playing pieces, and then there's a set of cards. And then you have to do what's on the card that you pull, which is so much fun and seems like 
we'll have a lot of laughs and fun family time together. So there's silly things like do karate like a kangaroo. High five everyone. For each high five, move one space. Anyway, I'm really excited to give this game a try. I even went to their website and saw that they have like a few other things that I'm totally interested in getting. So yeah, I am really excited about this. I think this was from Ollie's. Yes, I picked this up from Ollie's. I just tried to get a bunch of like advanced coloring books is what I was looking for. Just kind of taking it a step up from the regular coloring book and to just give them something to include in their morning baskets. So I'm really excited about their morning baskets because they're full of lots of goodies that they can earn lots of points, which I will explain more about how they earn points in their morning baskets in my morning basket video. So I got um, Alice in Wonderland. This one is going to go in Savannah's morning basket. Just challenging pages to color for her. I love the way Savannah colors. So I'm excited to see what she does with the um, colors she uses and the way she chooses to, um, I don't know, I'm just really excited about seeing what she does with these pages. And then on the left side, they'll include space to sketch. This one says sketch a large caterpillar. This one says draw a plump pig. And this one says, design your own patterned teapot. This one I picked up from Five Below. This is actually one of Brian's um, choices, which I'm super glad that he found it. This will be another one that just keeps her busy when I need a little bit of extra time to deal with the boys or if I'm, I don't know, on a phone call or whatever, just another thing to go into her morning basket. Um, another way that I add to things like this is I, I'll probably have her go ahead and use her spelling notebook and write the words after she finds them in the picture. You guys, I've shown you these books in another video um, and we love them so much. We got these as library books so we don't actually own these books, although I would love to own them. But um, we don't actually own them, but we love the stories and we love the way they went together. Um, so I went on to see if I could go ahead and purchase the books, but then I saw these beauties and I was like, oh, it would make so much more sense for me to just go ahead and get these project books first. And then later on down the line, when I, you know, have some extra free funds, I'll go ahead and get the actual picture book as well. But I picked up Ada Twist, big project book for stellar scientists. I love these, you guys. These are like the perfect addition for their morning baskets. And um, I'm not going to have them complete the work inside of the book. I'll have them use their notebooks and complete the work in their notebooks so that we can reuse these books. Observe a chemical reaction. They'll have the materials. They'll have the steps. Um, they lay out all the bits and pieces. Um, I love this series of books. Um, so this is just going to be a quick flip through, but I'm planning on doing a full review after we make our way through um, a few of the projects. The next one I got is Rosie Revere's Big Project Book for Bold Engineers, and I'll show you the inside of this one. So right now what I am doing is I have three books. So I have one book in each one of their um, morning baskets. And it's just based on what I feel like they're most gifted in. So like the architect book will go in my oldest sons. The scientist book will go in my younger sons. And then the engineer will go in my daughter's. And then I will just help her with these projects, obviously, if she chooses this in her morning basket. And then the last one that I got was Iggy Peck's big project book for amazing architects. Same deal. Gorgeous book. Even better um, projects and activities. And I will lay it out completely in a more thorough review video. These are more of the coloring books that I got, the advanced coloring books. This one is Ultimate Coloring Wonderful World, Color the Wonders of the World. Perfect addition to our geography lessons. It'll have some information about the wonder of the world. 
which is great because it's a great starting point and talking point for where in the world this wonder is. And then we'll head over to our maps and our globes and grab our geography notebooks. And this is how we handle geography most of the time. So this will be a nice addition to our geography lessons. This one, draw really cool stuff. I just picked this one up from Five Below. I'm very excited about it because if you've been following for a while, then you would know that my oldest son is my artist in the family. Um, we're all really artists, but he is um, really, really good. <laughs> He's really good. But uh, lately he's been coming to me and saying things like, Mommy, I don't know what to draw. And I'll try my best, you know. I'll try to give him something to draw. But I think this will be really nice to just to help him to keep working on his gift. So the next time he asks me, Mommy, I don't know what to draw. We're just going to go get this book, open it up and give one of these a try. Again, I'm gonna do more detailed reviews later on. This was another one I picked up from Five Below. Really excited about this. My kids are very much so into word searches. My middle son, mostly. <laughs> he is mostly into word searches. The challenge I was having was finding word search books that were advanced enough for him, but still, um, Still, you know, not too far out of his level of what he knows. So challenging words, but not so challenging content, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, because sometimes they'd have, like, the name of movies and things that he wouldn't know. Um, but I liked this one. I looked through this one, and most of the content was pretty, pretty good for him. So... It's actually 365 days of word searches. I'm really excited about this for him. And I'm sure he's probably going to breeze through this one. And it's really nice because I feel like he can learn so much from them. So facial features, um, they had parts of, a ho um, parts of a horse, they had African animals, Mexican states. So this one's a good one. These are the dot to dot famous places. Um, I also wanted to get, you know, those um, sticker books, those like challenging mosaic sticker books. I wanted to pick those up, but I haven't found those at a price that I'm interested in paying yet. So um, I found these dot to dot famous places. Perfect addition to our geography studies as well. And I think this would just be a nice challenge for them. Um, I could see us completing the dot to dots and then using some watercolor to add some shading elements. So I'm excited about that. Look how many dots, you guys. <laughs> this would be a challenge for sure for them, but I think they'll be up to the challenge. This is another one of those things that I can copy the pages so that I can reuse this book. So that should be fun. In addition to that one, a couple days later, I found this one, the dot to dot nature scenes. Same deal, you guys. How pretty is that? Same thing. These can be challenging because depending on where you are, um, it varies in price, like seriously varies in price. Um, some places I found them for like $12, $13. This one I got for $4. The other one I got for two. So, And this one was the last coloring book that I got. This is the 3D coloring um, cities. Perfect addition, again, to geography studies. And I love how they give you the grid space on the side. I think this book is gorgeous. And I'm excited to see the colors they use and what they make out of them. <laughs> I'm almost done, you guys. I'm almost done. I have two more things to show you. Well, three more things. <laughs> Okay, this one I got from Ali's. I'm excited about this as well, but then again, I'm excited about everything that I pick up to go in our homeschool. This is the Noah's Ark Origami. So, this looks quite challenging to me, but my kids are really good at origami. Um, I love things like this because they are, they have to follow the instructions. Um, so they're a lot like the build kits that I've had the kids do in the past. The ones that are, let's see, these. So these build kits. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to show you. Hold on. <laughs> 
Um, so they're a lot like these kits. They're kind of challenging for me to figure out, but the kids are so good at doing these. Um, and unfortunately, we've gone through all of them. These came from Ollie's as well. Um, we've done all of them. So I'm trying to find another substitute, something that gives them a similar thing to put their hands to. Um, so yeah, I found this Noah's Ark origami. I thought it would be the perfect addition to our Bible studies while we're working our way through our water in the world unit. And inside it has all of the paper pieces and the instruction booklet that will take walk you through making the origami parts. Um, so that's just Noah, his wife, and the animals. So I think they're going to have a lot of fun doing it. I looked at some of the instruction and I was like, ooh, Serena, <laughs> this would bother me. But my kids are so good at these. So I went ahead and picked that up and it was only five or six dollars. And I think that is worth it. The next one was this Color Yourself Smart. I really like these. Um, I'm trying to, I'm on the hunt to find the other ones. This is the perfect addition for our dinosaur unit. Um, and it doesn't have to be done while we're doing the dinosaur unit, but it just goes through each part. And as they color, they learn the different parts of the dinosaurs. And then over here is more information about the dinosaur and things to remember. So, isn't this book amazing? I wish they would make more things like this. The next thing I picked up, paint and primer spray paints. Um, I needed these to add to my little art collection because when we do projects that require us to cover more surface area, it just takes a very long time to use our paint brushes and paints to complete the project. So I wanted to add some spray paint to the mix. Right now we're building houses together and it would take super long to try to build, um, to paint the houses or when we do cardboard projects to paint the cardboard. Um, it would just be a lot easier to use the spray paint. So I just got most of Roy G. Biv. <laughs> and then the last thing I have is uh, this, you guys, this Moby game. Um, it's basically like my Apple letters, but with numbers. <laughs> Wish they weren't quite so pricey, but knowing how much we use the lettergrams that we have, like the apple letters and the bananagrams. We use them so much and we've used them for so many years that I think that this is definitely a great investment. So I actually took them out and they are over here in our little letter factory. So, so that is where they live. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that bad, you guys, right? I just thought I would share with you that little haul. I'm gonna try my best to link everything that I have if I can find a version of it. Most of the time I find my things from discount stores like Ollie's um, or in Five Below or in BJ's, things like that. I never pay the full price for them. Um, so I, I guess that's why it's never on my radar to always put them um, links to them. Because a lot of times when I find links to them, they're more than I would have paid for them. But um, I've had quite a bit of you are requesting that I make sure that I add the links to my description box. And I'm going to give it a try. I really am. But um, I just hope you would know that YouTube videos are not my job. I love doing them. This is what I do after I finish all of my other things. After um, I keep my kids first because they're my main priority. And then after that, I have my businesses with photography and our clothing lines. Um, so this kinda is last for me. And unfortunately, it takes quite a bit of time to film and to edit and to upload these videos. But sometimes I don't always think of the resources that we use. Sometimes I also make a lot of the printables myself and um, they're, they're just not easily shareable for me at this time because it actually takes, you know, a little bit of a process to make sure that they're shareable. So just bear with me here. Um, I'm almost finished with my patron, which is going to hold all of my printables and things that I have made um, and just make it a lot easier for you to access um, things that I would like to share with you. Uh, yeah, so 
yeah, I've had quite a bit of you ask about the links to um, the resources and things. And I'm trying to do my best, you guys. Um, you can always check out my Amazon store. A lot of the things that I get are from Amazon. And I will leave the link to my Amazon affiliate store um, in the description box so that you can always go and browse that store and see most of the things that I have are there in that little Amazon affiliate store. So yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i'm going to go out and get some errands run with my darlings and i will see you in the next video bye